with Ken Griffey Jr. And we are back and we are on the line with Fry Daddy from OahuScenarios.com. Hello. How is Paintball in Paradise tonight? Oh, right now it's uh, balmy about 70 degrees. The trade winds are in. Oh. It's a beautiful day here in Oahu. Oh, you suck so much. That's why we've Whoa. waited around getting to them because I live here in Palm Springs where it's, you know, 80 degrees in the middle of winter. And you make me jealous. I mean, that sucks. You, you too can put on a scenario here in Hawaii. <laughs> How is the scenario it just going? Takes time, money. It just takes time, money, and a lot of headaches. Oh, man. Seriously. Now, tell me about Oahu Scenarios. We had you on the program last year, and you're continuing and, and building and growing. Um, so the event is this Originally, weekend. So. Yeah. Originally, it was just going to be a one-time thing, and uh, just the response was so great. I mean, I had people coming in in the middle of the game. Hey, I'll be here next year. Hey, when's next year's game? I, I got um, uh, such a good response that I had to put on a second one, and it's going to be an annual game now, and it's still Hawaii's only 24-hour format scenario game. Nice. Very cool. Now, uh, people are already there. We were talking to Gary Baum from PaintballPhotography.com a little bit earlier. Okay. He said he was checking in at the, the local hotel, and he's, he's got his bag that's got some PayPal logos on it. They're like, oh, you're a paintballer. Okay, great, bra. Come over here. That's great. Oh, what team are you playing with? And he's like, I, I don't play on a team. You're here for a paintball event, right, bra? He's like, yeah. Okay, professional paintballer. He's like, oh, okay, dude. She said they were all excited because I guess all the ballers well, are just can, sort of renting. You have to house. realize on Oahu, there are seven fields of which one of them runs seven days a week. Wow. Paintball is huge in Hawaii. Mostly pump, but um, as you know, there's going to be a tournament this year here. Uh, there's just quite a big following for paintball here. That is so cool. Uh, is it because they're so mellow all the time that they just need to vent every once in a while? I mean, I would. I don't. I, I don't think, know. Think that but these, it's a great place to come play paintball. These big Samoan dudes, I, I wouldn't really think that they would really like to dive into these small little blow-up bunkers or that would really work too well, being a tall guy myself, you know? Well, uh, at least on the field we are at is, a, is the only woods ball field. It's not a, a military base. It's the recreation base. So if you're in the military and you wanted to go Anywhere in the Pacific, you wanted to go and you know camp out and type of thing. It's uh, that's where we're at. So it's got a large CQB area and it's got a jungle area. Uh, so it's it's woods ball, but the rest of them are speed ball. There's one indoor field. Uh, the rest of them are outdoors. But uh, I don't know. But I do know that pump paintball is alive and well here in Hawaii. Probably a quarter of the people that are going to be playing this weekend will be playing pump. Nice. How many people do you have ready and, and willing to play this weekend? And do you think they'll even want to play, or will they just sort of want to sit around on the beach and just sort of sit there? Well, I know that uh, Argent Force is coming. Tri-State from uh, the East Coast is coming. Uh, some of the clowns had to back out at the last minute due to financial problems because uh, it is kind of expensive to fly to Hawaii and you know spend a week here. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Apparently, we have about 120 that are going to be here. There were 135 last year. Most of them are local. Many of them had never played a scenario before. So the learning curve was pretty quick for a lot of these players, but they stepped up and had a really good time last year. Uh, we're hoping to see the same level of professional professionalism in scenario paintball, but I'm sure we will. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, if any of the teams are out there that are listening, I'm looking forward to you guys to play a leadership role with some of the newer scenario players uh, and show them, show them how to play scenario paintball. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. Well, that's, that's amazing. How did you first get the idea to do this? Were you, were you over in Oahu vacationing and you just saw paintball was everywhere and went, damn, I wonder if I can do an event here. Well, or... That's pretty much it. I came over on vacation one year. I saw that there was quite a few fields. So I, I threw a pump gun in my, my bag and uh, I called 
one field and uh, showed up. This this one field, it's Island Paintball at Bellows uh, Air Force Station. Mm-hmm. Uh, I showed up and I started talking to the guy. And I had been on some of the forums and bulletin boards and so on. And uh, he'd seen that I was a scenario player and he wanted to know about scenario. Keith uh, is the owner. Uh, and his exact words were, or my words were, you know, could be fun to have a scenario here. Uh, it might be a pipe dream. And he looked at me and said, you know, all good ideas start as a pipe dream. Hmm. And eight months later, we ran a scenario there. Uh, it, it was just that, where the field owner and a, a scenario player got together and said, hey, let's let's see if we could run a scenario. Nice. Uh, and like I said, it's it's not easy, especially when you can't just stop by the field and talk to the owner and say, hi, you got a call and he's a busy man and I, I work and, you know, we've been playing phone tag for the past couple of weeks, but uh, it works out. It works out very well. The staff at uh, Island Paintball at Bellows are top notch. So they're, I have no doubt that they're all ready for the, the game. <laughs> well, cool. So, so you're telling me that you are already planning for next year too. So you, you're pretty much saying that this, this year is going well, so we'll just keep them going. I've got a storyline for next year. Uh, I've got the storyline actually written for next year, and I've written most of the missions in our series of scenario ball is every hour you get a mission called into you, and then you have four missions you can run on your own. Uh, I have about half the mission set up for next year nice. and the storyline. As a matter of fact, this year's storyline was written sitting in the Honolulu airport when we were leaving from last year's game. <laughs> That's hilarious. So uh, what is the rea- – I mean, I'm guessing the reaction has been good so far from, from everybody. And uh... Well, the reaction has been very good. Um, Again, it's with the first scenario in Hawaii. Uh, so some of these people are like, what do you mean running missions? Uh, I, I had one question that said, what is, uh, what is you know, having a royal wedding having anything to do with, with paintball? And I had to respond back to them. No, it's a scenario game. And I get about two or three of those emails a, a month trying to explain what scenario is. But once we tell them, they all say the same thing. Hey, I, w- I want to try it. I want to see what it's like. I think scenario is in a really up and coming area of paintball. That's beautiful. Well, cool. Um, so who do you have that's, that's helping you out? Are you any sponsors or other people that you want to uh, give some shout outs to since I got you on the line? We don't have any, we don't have any sponsors other than team lockdown, my team. Um, so if there's any sponsors out there that'd like to talk to me about next year, <laughs> I'd be more than happy to talk about it. Uh, cool. Basically, this is just Team Lockdown and IslandPaintball.com got together to, to develop OahuScenarios.com. We've done it all on our own. Very cool. Damn. And uh, you, unfortunately, have to bear the brunt of it and um, sit there and drink your beautiful fruity drinks, and play in magnificent weather. Uh, where are you from normally? Uh, I'm from Northern California. Okay. I'm in, from the San Francisco Bay Area. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not like we're talking to Weltman, who's playing out of Massachusetts or something like that. And he's Weltman's had... supposed to be here. I, I, yep. I'm looking forward to seeing him. He's a great player and a good guy. It was very cool. He was over at the Viper game last weekend, and him and Viper were just saying, oh, yeah, it's like eight degrees below where I'm from right now. So this is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm like, so you're going back home afterwards? Like, no, I'm going to Hawaii afterwards. I'm like, oh, wow. He's like, yeah, it just keeps getting better and better. This is beautiful. (laughs) Well, the nice part about the field is it's about 100 yards from the beach. Wow, that's cool. The only problem with with playing in Hawaii is the downpours. Last year we had dinner and monsoon happen a half hour before final battle. Hmm. And... Ten minutes later, we had beautiful clear skies, and the sun was back out. It's just a very strange weather pattern we're not used to. Well, yeah, that, that's that's your instant reinsertion right there. Oh, <laughs> well, there goes all my pain. I guess I'm back in. <laughs> it's a 